Look, 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 look at me! Oh, oh Wepo! Oh, and Wepo in the front, he gets the charm, and they got the kill! I told you, see you in the late game! No, oh, he goes in! Haha, <laughs> this guy is <laughs> Good game, guys, good Let's game. Let's go! The Alienware training facility. We were one of the first to ever distinguish facility and gaming house. But it's been about five, six years now, and it's time to just level up. So we're introducing some new capabilities in the new facility that will be opening in about a month. We're gonna be able to provide kind of better equipment, better training, better environment. We're doubling the size of the space so that folks can, you know, compete, train, and increase the probability to win. Everybody wants to win, right? But what really makes a difference is how you handle the obstacles that are thrown at you. Team Liquid slash Curse history in League of Legends, we haven't always done well at everything that we've tried to do. You know, we've seen a lot of failures along the way. I remember that one match where we were about to go to Worlds and you know, we're up 2-0 and we ended up losing 2-3 and not going to Worlds. And so many fourth place finishes just right out of the top three was just kind of gut-wrenching, right? It, they're failures. Perseverance, or what I like to say is just being unstoppable, that will, that passion, that energy, something that really pulls us together at Team Liquid is that we embody that philosophy, that will to win, that unstoppableness in everything that we do. Yes, I felt discouraged. Yes, I felt defeated. I felt that for a little bit, but then I said, how am I gonna take this and do better next year? So this year was pretty interesting, right? We had a lot of success for four years in a row. We won back to back to back to back championships. And then we made two final appearances and we've been to Worlds many times, but continue to have this kind of 3-3 record. This was an opportunity to take everything that we've learned and really apply it. Let's get a team that has a will to win that's shared with the organization from a behavioral perspective, very mature, they can talk through and work through these obstacles that may come up. And let's give that a go. Bjergsen, oh my God, the king is back. We've got Whippo in the top lane, the guy's killing it. We've got Core JJ, but if he's not able to get his green card, we're gonna have Ayla. And then we got Han Sama. And Santorin. So that's our team. TL versus 100 Thieves, a rematch of the summer finals. It also sports the now back-to-back lock-in champions of Team Liquid against 100 Thieves that fell down. Everyone's expecting TL to be world beaters, right? Like they just, right. with a substitute in Ayla, with no core JJ, 3-0'd what looked to be the strongest team in the LCS. But I actually think they're coming into a, a difficult situation here, coming up against a hungry 100 Thieves teams who's looking to shut people up. Match of the week, match of the week. I'm excited. Team Liquid, the reigning lock-in champions, back-to-back, -back, by the way. 100 Thieves reigning LCS champions, hoping for back-to-back, -back, by the way. It's gonna be fun. Here comes the dive, and that is a scoop backwards. Two, four, nothing. 100 Thieves on the board twice. They win the fight on both sides of the map. FBI is unstoppable, and 100 Thieves will just not be stopped. 100 Thieves will be happy to forget about lock-in and be undefeated in the LCS spring split. When I spoke to Andre, who's the coach for the League of Legends team this year, I said, we will have problems. It's not about avoiding them, it's how we overcome them. And that requires communication and collaboration and insight and gleaming the way that we've handled these things in the past and applying that knowledge so that we get through them. I actually didn't feel much of anything after we lost to 100 Thieves. I had this like confidence that we'd figure it out. It was the first argument of this team getting together. I just remember listening to the conversation and it went on for about 25 minutes. And I was like, wow, that was handled so well. Like these guys are so mature. Then they walked away with like 
a group consensus on how they're going to play the game from here on out. I thought to myself, I think Andre's got this. And Team Liquid is back in familiar territory. They'll pad the stats a little bit more as they pick up one kill, make it two. Will it be three? Revenge is stunned up nice and tidy, done and dusted. Hello. Nice job, guys. <laughs> Good job, guys. First day back, first episode of Squad. It's big, dude, it's big. I'd like to thank the Academy, uh, both the team and the group of judges that, you. you know, gave us this award. What award? Um, My name is Ben Zyper, I'm the LCS and Academy team manager. I'm in charge of making sure that the team has everything they need to succeed and perform every weekend. Scheduling, interview work, booking content, just overall keeping the players healthy and happy. Every LCS team is going to have five players, and you're allowed to have two of those players be imports from other countries. Every other player either has to be a North American resident, a green card holder, or someone who's grandfathered in. We expected to have Kors green card in by now, but because Kors green card was not here in time, he could not play with the full team. So we built this roster with Core GJ as the, the key player in mind. Bjergsen wanted to play with Core GJ, Han Samo came here to play with Core GJ. And once we knew about the situation about his green card and the potential that he can't play the first few weeks of LCS, you know, it was, you know, I was just so stressed. January was a tough month because we were waiting from the Korean government and it was really touch and go at some moments. Why is it taking so long? What can we do? There were a few days where it was like, hey, if we don't know by tonight, we have, might have to send CORE home. It was definitely driving me crazy, but, you know, we were able to actually go through that as the whole team. All the, the players that were coming on board for Core GJ knew his situation, but they still wanted to come play, even though you know there was a chance where you know they might not play with him for a few weeks. He is, from a timing perspective, just about to get his green card. It's like in the final, 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 final stage. So yeah, we're kind of waiting and hoping and praying that it will come through very soon. We just wasted 45 minutes of our lives watching Smite Top. They even played it like very suboptimal and one point. So it's just disturbing. He held his Q, he's up good. Ooh! Oh my god, he hits Eric. He's my angle. He has no arm blocking. Wait, why does he have daggers? I saw a hunt stick there. Do you want to give me uh, your, your cell phone? If you do it. <laughs> the, I can just like live, live chat. Live, 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 live chat. Core, core is like the best social manager. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you kill enemy team, haha, this guy is <laughs> See you in the late game. Nice. I like if you're it. looking quirky, I'll see you soon. in the late game. It was a lot of fun that we got to go into the LCS studio. Uh, when we did, it, it was pretty exciting. I think everyone kind of is in the same boat where they like playing from home because it's very comfortable, but you know, maybe for a competitive environment, it's not the best to be in a place where you're comfortable. It's best to be in a place where you are looking your rivals face to face and there are cool lights and there's music. Uh, you know, it makes you feel like a real athlete. There's only one. Don't. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Let's have some fun. What's the fifth? Look around three. One, two, three. Stepping onto the LCS stage for the first time in person. I, I am smile. so happy to see that <laughs> smile and know that it's only a couple hundred feet away. We'll see if they have what it takes to take down Cloud9. Flash away! Second shuttle kill, and that is an over-aggression by C9's bot lane. Nice, nice really good. Santorin has no flash. Can he actually get in the pit here? Berserker claims the kill, claims the Baron. Explosive cast, rocket one is not the red. red, but the red buff does enough. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Let's let them feel like we go okay. national, and then we walk yeah. forward. Okay. Okay. We might have a word on that, though. Look, look, yeah. look, look at me. Yeah, I'm coming. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, huge. Oh, Whippo! Oh, and Whippo in the front, he gets the charm, and they got the kill. Slowly, 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 slowly. Can I'm running, I'm running. We win, we win, slowly, slowly. I'm front line, front line. Yeah. Nice. Let's go, boys. People. I slow him. There's nothing, there's nothing. Jin, 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 really, guys, we need help. We need help on it, really. I got this guy, I got this guy. He's dead? I missed the miss. Nice, nice, guys. Good game, guys. Good Let's game. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Brother, you're f***ing in there, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. That's perfect. Yeah, I, I can just tank it. Holy That'd f***. Yeah. That was a good stage game. I told you. See you in the late game. The stage is so fun. Free f***ing yeah. See you in the late game. Yeah. Team Liquid fight back valiantly from a loss in game one of spring. They will knock down Cloud9 and Team Liquid 2-1 and one in the LCS. Let's get to best LCS team at the moment.
currently, I would say, after two weeks, the best team in the LCS is going to be TL. Partially because of the way they looked, like maybe even with Ayla as their support, they'd be the best team. But I also expect that they're going to be getting Core JJ back at some point, which just has me pretty confident keeping them at number one. In general, I like to watch the game. Um, I like to watch like how our team play without me. I mean, I just feel a little sad that I couldn't play, but it is what it is. Uh, we, we actually played really well, and then I wanted to play back again really, really badly. I want to win too, but it is not our real uh, goal. Our real goal is still is like far from here. Core is one of the best players to ever grace Summoner's Rift, and it was a shame that we didn't get to see him play. Having him here is just like such a blessing, and it was very touch and go. I've been stressing out really bad every day, every night, every month, but it's getting better. Last week, he went in with our lawyer, and they came out, and he was ecstatic. He got his green card. It was just a really great day, a huge burden off his shoulders. When I knew I'm going to get green card, and then I passed the interview, I feel relief. It's like, finally, finally I got it. There's an insane amount of pressures off my shoulders. You know, I, I, I've, been, I've been stressed about this for about the, the past five months. Everyone's ecstatic. Everyone's, um, I think, very happy. They've been scrimming with him this week. I think it's going really well. I've been watching HCS a lot, and I've been watching how Hans playing. I don't like enemy team Balain even breathing on the summoner's lift. I think soon they're gonna get suffo suffocated. I don't, I don't want them to breathe on the lift anymore. <laughs>